well, the best word I can say, but uh, will describe this was boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, evening. Good evening. 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 How are you doing, sir? Um, a uh, little bit disappointed. Yes. Yeah, I sir. was hoping Arsenal could do us a favour and mm. peg back Man City today. I mean, um, I've only seen the highlights, but it looked like a great game. And credit to Arsenal. They tried their best. Um, for most of the game, it was a uh, one-all. They went ahead. They had a, a penalty shout that didn't get. They had a man sent off. Yep. Man City got a penalty. And then last-minute goal by Man City. So yeah. they won 2-1. Uh, so that's a bit depressing. That's making the uh, gap. Well, Man City are on 21 games, 53 yeah. points. Wow. Chelsea on 20 games, 42 points. I mean, God, dude. And then we're on 19 games on 41 points. Yeah. If, uh, if we lose, that could be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless something disastrous happens to Man City, mm. I, I, uh, it hurts me to say that it, it looks like it would be their title. But you never know. You never know. Yeah. Anything can happen in football. That's why it's um, and yeah, that's I think, the nature and of the I think, I think um, Chelsea have got things to think about because um, they've got. As well as us in this month, they got um, Man City as well. So. Well, maybe they could do us a favor there. If they can peg back Man City. Yeah. Well, of course, if we lose tomorrow, if we lose against Chelsea, I'm not sure it's going to make a big difference because uh, then we'll be a whole heap of points behind them. No, of course. But you never know. If I mean, if we beat Chelsea and if somehow Chelsea beat Man City, then that could reduce the gap to only three points again. Yeah. Then the title race is still wide open. No, of course. Um, again, if wishes were fishes, so we'll just have to wait and see one yeah. game at a time. We just got beat Ch um, Chelsea tomorrow, yeah. Um, some next news. news, yeah. Oh, god, so um, Klopp won't be at the game because no, he's, he's got, got COVID, he's got COVID, yeah, yeah, he's been tested for COVID. Um, now I listened to a press conference. Now, there are three key players to our squad who have been tested positive, but okay. The manager won't name them. Got in hopes, I guess, that they're going to have negative tests tomorrow. Um, but they are key players. And he said, uh, he was asked by journalists, who are they? He said, well, if they test negative from my team selection, you'll see clearly who they are. Okay. So I suspect it could be the goalkeeper or, well, M uh, oh, Van Dyke, he's already had it. He's already had it, yeah. Uh, I think it's going to be... Oh, God, just have could to be, It could be them. anyone. <laughs> it could be anyone. Yeah, yeah. It's not but quite, it's not quite guessing. <clears throat> no, but the fact that he said it's going to be obvious, who doesn't he change? He doesn't really change the front three. Yeah. Often. <clears throat> Midfield, he does change quite often. So it's not. it won't be so obvious. Uh, but I'm thinking it's going to be either a goalkeeper, because he's not playing, then it's clearly, or someone at the front, which is a worry. Yeah, but can you imagine if it was Sally Amani, that means would they go, be going to the African... Cup nations because no, no, he's got COVID. No, you won't be no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, unless he unless he gets his own plane there so, and uh, it's straight into would isolation. You, would you think? Obviously, I don't wish the uh, for our players to have COVID, but uh, if mm. they did, the front men, the ones that are going mm. African Cup nations, do you think, yes. do you think that could play into our favour? No, because they still have to go and play. They will, even, oh, they'll it, still yeah, go. Oh, okay, because they'll get either they could isolate here, yeah, or find somewhere to travel to Africa and isolate over there. But they're still eligible to play. They, they're not yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah, of course. It's not like a, I'll tell you what, 10 days. It depends, actually. If you've been double jabbed, I think they've cut it down to five days okay. of, iso of isolation. So mm. once they're fit, once they're, yeah, well, they'll just fly off again. Okay. So unfortunately, no, that won't play into our hands. Um, yeah, so we just got to do about them for the next few games. I mean, we've got Arsenal in the Carabao Cup, but then they don't normally feature. And then we've got, yeah. um, we've got, what kind of else we've got? We've got a few games, but I think the Chelsea game will be the biggest game no, of course. for January. It's definitely uh, for us. Um, so yeah, so that's right. So we got three three people, COVID, the manager out. Uh, but then Chelsea have got their own issues, um, yeah. especially with this Romelu Lukaku thing. I don't know if he was high on weed when he did this interview. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but um, for people that don't know, he uh, three weeks ago he did an interview with Sky Italia. Uh, telling everybody the world that how much he loves Inter Milan and how much he doesn't like being at Chelsea. 
Um, Did he say you don't want to be at Chelsea, or is it the to do well, with the, not, the, ta- the tactics? Isn't it? He doesn't like the tactics. Well, yeah, he does like that. He's not happy. Mm. He's not, yeah, that's right. He does like the system. Yeah, he's not the used system. To does like the system, but he's professional, and he'll still play. But then he's did, he's done this interview behind the manager's back. Yeah. So he can't be that much of a professional. No, no, so of course not. Because why have you done that? Yeah, you've but tried, that... You've, you're causing discord. But didn't he think that the it would have come out though? The video. Well, of course he, well, he must have done. He's not an idiot. He, you've done it on a big network, Sky. Yes. Not like some small backstreet magazine. You've done it on a big network. Clearly, it's going to come out. Clearly, the man's going to find out. All you've done now, what, we, what, what have you achieved? You've just achieved discord in the between you and the manager. That means he doesn't care then. He, he really well, clearly. Or he's trying to send out a message to the manager. Do you think that, that could be it for him? Uh, well, now, this is the problem. What, what does Tuchel do? I mean... Yes, he scores goals, but he's not their highest. Um, he's not held Chelsea's highest goal scorer. Jorginho know. is, but he's, mm. he's useful. He does. Let's see. He does do. He makes a lot of assists. Um, let's see top scorers for Chelsea. So look, oh, actually, I say that. No, he's done none in the Premier League. No assists. Um, and he's played what um, eighteen games, mm. seven goals, no assists. What do you do? What do you do? Are you going to maybe he has to be disciplined. You can't be going behind the manager's back and making these doing these kind of mad interviews. That's just... Well, he didn't really go behind his back, innit? <laughs> it no, no, he did. He didn't. He didn't speak to the manager yeah, before no, he did it. That's what it seems gone, like, though, innit? It's so... completely disrespectful to go yeah. out bad mouth the team without the manager knowing. The manager had to find out through the press. I mean, yeah. what's that? What's that about? Yeah, because basically, you know, I'm sure a lot of players um, when their manager comes in and. Um, deals with the system and changes tactics yeah. and your position I'm sure yeah. there's, there's other players that feel the same way as him but they don't announce it the way he did that's well, the difference this is, you gotta keep it to yourself of, this is the height of disrespect yeah. the height I mean this is this is beyond disrespectful I mean you've gone on a, a big publication and basically slagged off your manager yeah I mean we complain, well, we complain when managers do it to players, so it's doubly worse. At least he's in charge of the team. It's doubly worse when you're just a part of the team and you go and snag off the manager and the whole team and yeah. how much you love your previous team and you can't wait to go back to your previous no, team. of course. That means there so, must be some kind of bust-up that they had. Yeah, or must Something be. It must be. But then, be. don't be a coward. Go and talk to the manager face-to-face. Don't go by his back and do a TV interview. Yeah. That's, that's my take on it. But then... These are Chelsea's problems. They're not our problems. No, no, of course so not. We, so I'm not. So he may not start tomorrow. Um, but again, he's only the top scorer. So Jorginho is okay. Um, and I think that actually their danger man really would be Mason Mount because scored seven, five assists. Yeah, Mount's definitely. Uh, yeah, he's a he's a um, someone to keep an eye out for. Yeah, of course. Um, what else we've got going on? Um, Tiago Minamino are both out with injuries. Still injured. Yeah, uh, Curtis Jones is back, so he'll be uh, he'll be on the bench, but okay. lacking in match fitness. Um, gosh, what we also got? basically it's just a, we just need to win this game. We just absolutely need to win it, and it's going. I mean, it's hard enough with a full squad, with a depleted squad. But, I mean, I know they've got injuries. They've got injuries with, oh, with Chilwell and um, uh, what's his name, uh, Rhys James. Um, apparently, his Rhys James has just actually torn his hamstring. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you've gone all dollicky. You out there? Yeah, my mic's just gone funny. It keeps popping up. Oh, that's okay. Um, yeah. yeah, so he's uh, actually torn in hamstring. And also, Chelsea, I mean, I know they're, bit of a, they're on a bit of a decline at the moment. I was looking at the stats for the game against Brighton, yeah. which they drew 1-0. Mm. Mate, Brighton really took it to them. Yeah, yeah, uh, of course. Brighton are a decent no, but, side. Yeah, but, I mean, okay, well, yeah, you say we, we, side. We, we, we discovered that, innit? Well, yeah, but still, you wouldn't expect them to do that to Chelsea. Man. I mean, okay, where are Brighton sitting now? Brighton, okay, they're in tenth. Yeah. But if you look at the stats; they had more shots on goal, and they're playing at Chelsea. Yeah. Um, as far as the way they're having, they even had uh, more on target. So Chelsea can be got at. So no, of course. You know, have we take the game to Chelsea? Mm. I, reckon, I, re- I, I believe that the game depends on who's going to be playing. That's definitely going to well, play a big role. Clearly, because yeah, of clearly. what's I mean, going on. Same with Chelsea think, as well. So, if we play youngsters, I think the team will be unbalanced, and then we won't be able to get into any rhythm. No. Um, yeah, yeah it, 
I know. Uh, sorry, normally we found we sound more convinced, <laughs> yeah. but people have to realize we don't know who's playing tomorrow, so it's all up in the air. When, do you, when the air. do you think they were let the, because obviously, um, but it's not a couple of hours before kickoff they announced the team, so, so they are just gonna wait for the actual official of team news. That's, yeah, that's mm. all we can do is wait for the actual team squad. If we do hear but, anything earlier, then it might be it could be too. Can't, I mean, I think we're Liverpool's gonna keep it close to their the chest until they do those tests yeah. and make make absolutely sure. But I mean, uh, I mean uh, I, I, this is where you test, this is where your, your squad is really tested. Yeah. I mean, clearly, if we bring in youngsters, as we did against um, Leicester in the Carabao Cup, it makes such a difference from first half where we played youngsters 100%. to the second half. And I mean, remember, we're not playing Leicester, we're playing Chelsea, so. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, which we admittedly have got their own problems, but still, they were... Yeah, they are, they are currently sitting second, second. You don't get to second by being a rubbish team. No, no. Of so, um, yeah, it, it's, yeah, it will be tough. But um, I may. <sighs> what do you, do you want to try to do a match prediction? Or oh, not match prediction, but um, starting 11 prediction? That's going to be very difficult now. Exactly. Because we're just. <laughs> but, okay, who would, you, all right, who would you want to start? <laughs> Give it a choice. Who would. Because, again, we don't know who's out. Who would well, you want if to I start? Want, if I want anyone to start, it's going to be. It's gonna be the main, the main first team players. So, well, we get Robertson will be suspended because he got a red card. Yeah. So, so um, okay. Obviously, Shilakas. So, right. Okay. Uh, Matip, Van Dijk. Oh, Matip! You go Matip above Kanate. Mm. Yeah, yeah got Lukaku. <laughs> Lukaku oh, is yeah, good in here. That's true. That's true. Yeah, but Lukaku, Lukaku might not play. Yeah, we can't make that assumption. We, we don't can't, know. Isn't it? Yeah. All right, then. Um, so we're just going to go based on we just got a full squad and that's well, it. Well, yeah, because again, because we don't know who's out. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'll say definitely um, all right, then Kanate, um, Van Dijk, mm -hmm. and um, Alexander Trent. That's in Okay. Who would you um, say? I, I like Matip. I do like Matip. I think there's one game yeah, where only, he did... Yeah, that's the last game when he started running through the team and getting forward a bit and help. And well, he skill. does that. You know, he does yeah. come forward. He does mm. come forward um, on occasion. But also, I think there's one game where he never lost an aerial duel, so... Oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> so he looks scrawny compared to Lukaku. Lukaku looks like a unit, man. Whereas Kanate also looks yeah, like yeah, a unit. So Kanate, either, yeah. Kanate is strong That's as what you well. need, yeah. That's what you need. Yeah. So, um, no, I think I, yeah, I think I might agree with you. I think maybe, yeah, Kanate as well. So I'd go... Um, and he, he plays in the middle anyway. Dude, uh, Kanate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sorry. Yeah. Um, no, not Kanate. Um, Lukaku. Lukaku, yeah. Yes, it's exactly. Like a number nine, so, isn't it? So yeah, yeah. So yeah. we can hopefully get so that's any perfect. corners or anything. Yeah. So mm. one on one. So I, I agree with you. I think we'll go. Um, yeah. So uh, Simicas, uh, Kanate, Van Dyke, and then um, Trent. Who would you say for your midfield then? Um, I'd have Henderson in there. Um, yeah, definitely. For B Fabinho. Mm. Mm. You know, oh, oh gosh, it's gonna be either Ox or Cater. I like Ox. Ox does give energy. When he, when he doesn't disappear, sometimes he vanishes in the game. <laughs> but when he when he gets the ball and he goes charging yeah, forward, yeah, 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 yeah. And you've got Fabinho, who's got the, who does the protects the back four. Yeah. So if he loses possession, also you've got Henderson who could go forward or protect the back four. Yeah. So okay, I, yeah, I go for Ox. Yeah, my midfield is exactly the same, definitely. Um, okay. The, I would. Uh, I don't think this is a Kater Kater game. I think it's more of an Ox. So if I think they're both going. Uh, they'll play both going. It's very rare. Ox plays, yeah, plays but I'll, I'll say more Ox because he he, okay. he drives more forward than Kater. Kater drives forward, but Ox will drive forward and take shots and as well. And do long shot and yeah, yeah. yeah and take shots. Yeah. And then yeah, if you've got like a fox in a box prowling yeah. around, yeah, rebound, go. Yeah. So okay, so we agreed on that. Um, yeah. Strikers. Uh, Mane, Jota, mm -hmm. and Salah. Same usual. Same usual. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, they're the top yeah. scorers. You yeah, can't yeah. really, you be, yeah, you can't really go differently than that. No, of course. Though sometimes Jota does have quiet games, but then we got cover with Firmino, and yeah, he seems content with that role. As in, now he accepts that Jota scores more goals. He's have to come on when Jota's got a quiet game. Yeah. Uh, Fine. So, and yeah. Um, talking of Firmino, um, uh, mm. I see something. 
talking about there could be a shock move for him in January. I don't know how true that is. It was to on, where? It was on the Echo. It didn't say where. Shock move? Just say the, pl- the player that you're going to come could, Familiar could be tipped to be um, Liverpool January transfer. <laughs> So. I very much doubt that he's a player. Younger club has used most of than anybody in the club. I got that from that's the fella. I know that was on um, Echo News. It, well, I would be absolutely astounded if Young Club uh, let him yeah. go. I really would. I mean, I know. Well, so well, anyway, gosh, I'm, I'm a bit concerned <laughs> now. I have, to, I have to double check that. Yeah, don't Bloody worry. We, we, we will look at that again, but um, yeah. we are we are out well. of time. Um, well, quick score prediction. Yeah, score prediction. Um, I think it would be a very tight one. Uh, I'll say yeah. two one Liverpool. I reckon it's going to be a draw. I reckon it's going to be a one one. One one, yeah. I reckon so. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're not optimistic today. No, because okay, we don't know who the injured no. parties are. Yeah, that's but players, remember, uh, we based our team on the first team. So y- yes, if we had that, that's what we yeah, expect. We, if, we, if, we, no, if we had that first team, 100%, yeah. I'd say win. But okay. we don't know, so there you go. All right, there you go. For me, myself, and Will, make sure you have a great day. The big match is coming tomorrow. Make sure you lock on, and we're going to have a match reaction after for me, that, myself, yes. and Will. So, um, yeah, we, let's just hope for the best that um, it's not <laughs> our... <laughs> Best players are gonna be um, tested oh, positive. Be so if it was all the fun three. Yeah, of course. Oh so God. we just have that'd to s- we just have to sit and wait, and hopefully we'll get some good news. So um, yeah, there you have it. Um, time's out. Like and subscribe. Yeah, and don't forget. See you tomorrow. Remember, we're one more from um, hundred subscribers. So please click yeah. that like button, please. And yeah, more content on the way. See you later. Peace. Bye. Bye.